Hey everyone, this is Cindy, the Canadian, no, Cindy the Crocheter A. I apologize, it's around, I believe, 5 my time or a little after 5 central time on this fine Monday. I believe, well, on July 26, I believe, I am doing a Happy Mail that I purchased, a mystery box. And so I recommend, oh, and I probably won't be posting this until either uh, the next day or Wednesday, depending on when I upload and everything. Okay, so hello everyone. Welcome to this channel. I am going to read off, okay, so first off, I'm wondering if I can borrow Ricola Crochet Corners segment since she is currently not purchasing anything. So how can she use her dot 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 I blame this person? Hmm. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> But, however, she is the culprit in this video among Sarah from Sarah's Little World of the Crochet Corner. All right. And then Crystal from Ricola's Crochet Corner. We got a lot of corners in this uh, video. And I ain't going to say the dirty dancing comment. <laughs> okay, so... I ordered this about four days ago, four business days, which would include today, Friday, Thursday, and Wednesday. We do not consider the weekend our work day for the post office. Anyway, so we got Crystal to blame because she popped out a mystery in her Facebook page. So I checked it out and I thought, hey, why not? It's, it is a little pricey. It's 50 bucks. If you're in the States, it will be a little cheaper. You do have to pay shipping and handling. But if you get a maximum of a certain amount, you can go free. And there is options. Oh man, sorry. It's a little hot and sweaty over here, which is probably not smart to touch the yarn after. <laughs> but I don't plan on giving this away, so <laughs> it's all safe. So, um, anyways, the description under the box says, and I'm paraphrasing, um, different words are missing and stuff, but not the main ones. So, it says underneath that boxes are filled with a minimum of $75. Original MSRP. I meant to look that up before I came on, so I have no idea what MSRP is. Um, if anybody knows, that would be nice to know what original MSRP means. Maybe original manufacturing straight right here? I don't know. Sorry for the ding. If you all heard that and it's of goodies yarn needles maybe accessories maybe some patterns maybe combination all sales are final and no discount so I'm guessing this is a no discount on this um, mystery box now I paid 50 bucks and then after I realized uh, Wool Queen is basically, I think, knitting stuff. So if I get needles, I'm going to be learning some more needle, needlework, knitting, ne I don't know, can't say that word. So anyways, possibly Cindy will be learning that. So yeah, that's what the description is. So I also know, so I have no idea what is in there. I realized um, Crystal looks like she purchased a mystery box and has a, 
video out. I believe that's her current video. I seem to be lacking on her notifications. I have no idea why. So she's recently posted a new one. I have not seen it. But I do want to let you know that anybody who does buy mystery boxes that I'm buying, I don't watch their video until I receive mine and I've opened it. And then I go back and watch theirs. All right, I went a little quiet because I think someone was going out. So I do know what was what one item is in there. So I'm assuming that when I open this box, my mystery items will be in here along with the other item that Sarah made me buy. Actually, Sarah was gifted hers. And so anyways, let's go and see what is in here? I believe this is what I purchased. Yes. Okay. So, came in this little box. Okay. This is what Sarah made me get. Um, there's no room in this couch. <laughs> so, now, you probably are going to be like, oh, that's expensive. Yeah, I know. I think so, too. However, I got a uh, ball winder, if no one has clued in, is what I purchased. And I purchased this one. And so, Mystery Box was 50 This was 50 You can pay in installments of four payments. So you can purchase it. I believe they say they give it to you. And then they'll give you the price total. And you can pay it in installments. Which I think is a nice idea. It helps with that addiction. So anyways, it comes with the lovely instructions. I have not used it. I had believe... I, I can't say this is the exact one that uh, Sarah has. But she recently got one. And I thought, hey, you know what? Why not try this one? I had the one from Michael's that I used a coupon on. So it was a little cheaper. I don't know, somewhere in one of my yarn baskets. But the little screwy thing came off. Then I lost it. Then it was compooped. So it was pretty much was not stable and sticking on. But I believe it was still wine if I tried it. But I didn't. Sometimes you got to hold the yarn as you wind to get the tension right. So that is my purchase. And it's this style. I guess it doesn't really show what style it is. But I like that they have the picture, um, what do you call it, picture instructions on this. Well, I guess right here it shows. Here, let me fold it a bit. You see that tiny thing over there? You can't see it because it's against a white table, but right there is. And that's the kind. It's one of those little side diggly things. Um, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a video on setting it up in that. I've seen many videos set it up, so. Without it falling. See, it's, uh, oh, I guess you can't see. All right, I guess I'm taking it out. <laughs> but it comes with this little floppy screw thing, which I think is good because I can't lose it. It looks to be attached to the whole machine. And then it's in this kind of circle motion and where you strand the yarn. So, yeah, I'm going to have fun. So I hope Sarah brings her little machine and we can do little little yarn winding competitions who can wind the windest wind the windest <laughs> wind the fastest so that is my um overly expensive because i know i've seen others for that price like cheaper like 30 bucks but uh, maybe it could be the states i don't know so that was from the wool queen and so now this is what's inside left is my mystery box. 
And I got some cool bubblies. Oh! Well, this is cool. I'm giving it thumbs up right off the bat. Not only because it's purple, but it comes in a box. <laughs> All right. Look at this pretty baby. This is nice. Okay. Thumbs up to you, Wool Queen. Okay, that's awesome. Now, if you want to purchase more, you know. Don't you ever uh, get embarrassed when you buy someone a gift and you see the price tag there and you're like, oh man, shoot, I forgot the price tag. Hopefully they don't really say anything. Hopefully it peels off nicely. Maybe that's why they also kept it. Okay, I'm not going to fiddle around with it, but I don't know. She maybe remember me from liking purple yarn because I did order her purple yarn. And after I ordered it, she sent a nice email thanking me. Okay, so it has a hole on this end. So maybe that's, it's very gorgeous. I love this. Okay, I'm going to hold it like this. Do you see what I get? Is it worth it? Okay, so, oh, look at that, comes perfect. So, let's see. Oh, this is so cool. I've wanted to try this. Soak. And it is a lacy smell. That is awesome. I was about to purchase some on Amazon, but then in order for me to get it or receive it, I'd have to annoy one of my friends who I don't really like annoying. That's cool. So what this soak is, is I've seen this on Bagel Day. And then other people have mentioned it. It's pretty much where you soak it and you don't really need to rinse it out or anything. So I'm happy about this. Because now I can actually try it and see if I want to buy more. Now this is beautiful. This is for all you Paris lovers out there. Oh no, it got caught on some yarn. Okay, so this is a shawl pin, pin and it's wrapped in plastic. And I don't know if you can see it, but it has a Paris theme to it. I'm opening it. It's going to be an unopening thing. Okay. I better uh, make sure the... So how is everyone today? It's only 28. Then it rained, so it brought it down to 26. Then it went up to 27 currently right now. And yeah, it's I don't have my fan underneath me like I usually do, so it's a little hot. Cute, nice plastic. And here we go. Not cute. Little Paris Eiffel Tower. And then some diamonds. And little jewelry things. And it's a shawl pin. Shawl pin. That's pretty. Now. We go to. I've never had any of this. Look at that. That's pretty colors. It's called Kaleidoscope Worsted. Euro, baby! Medium 4, 100% acrylic. Roulette is the name. 7.04 or 04 ounces. 200 grams. 440, 442 yards, 405 meters. Knitting gauge is, oh, we're not needing knitting gauges, but it calls for 5.5 .5 needles and, oh, 4.5 to 5.5 .5 needles for knitting and 5.5 to 6 
to nine M hooks. I don't know. I think that was a misprint. Anyways, this is, I've never seen this before. It's a little duller in color than it's showing up a little bright, but it's more this side in color. Uh, it's not the softest. I don't think I would definitely, I might, I don't know what I'd do with it, but it's not the softest. It's pretty, but it ain't the softest that I felt because I'm becoming an expert of soft yarn, you know? <laughs> okay. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. I hear people up there. They're probably like, who is she talking about now? Now this is interesting. Kulangeta is the color. It's Queensland Collection Care Kairin's Colorful Cotton Blend. Woo! I like cotton. Okay, so 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. Calling for. Um, it's a medium four. Calling for the usual hooks, four and five. Made in Italy. And it doesn't say, oh, right in front of me. 3.52 ounces, 100 grams, 190 yards, and 175 meters. Now, I can't really. So that is the yarns. It is a mix upon mix. You go deeper and you get different shades. Like this is a rainbow. It's like almost thin thin yarn like airy yarn. Chain spun. Chain spun. There you go. Woohoo. Thank you Bag O'Day for always mentioning roving chain spun. <laughs> it is engraved in my head. And yes, I can see that it is a chain spun. Gorgeous colors. I like the mix of it all. Now, what can I do with just one ball with 190 yards? I don't, maybe a cowl? I don't know. And I don't know the prices of these, so I don't know. But for $50 right now, Okay, so, unless you know these prices and then you're like, oh yeah, Cindy, you got a deal. To me, I don't know. So, we're going down to a Phil Tressor Mohair. And this is Italy yarn. It's called Marine. It's gorgeous, actually. This one I like. Other ones, I love the color in them. But, mm, so we have 50 grams, one comma 76 ounces, 31 comma seven yards. You need 14 of these to make a sweater. I don't know. <laughs> so this is made in Italy and I don't know. It is 35 polymade, 35 acrylic, 27 mohair, 3% polyester. Now, she must, because I'm a returning customer of second time, I think she went for my colors that I like. This is like purpley, purpley, purpley. Now, I don't know what size it is, but my goodness. It's going to freak some of these people out who don't do thin yarns. I couldn't even begin to tell you where I can pull to show you. <laughs> it, oh, oops. <laughs> Man down, woman down. Um, oh my goodness. 
Oh! Okay, it's not as scary as I thought it once was. It's probably bulky 5, bulky 6 they'd arrange it. I have never seen this in my life before. I don't know if I can do it like this. Is it? Oh, come on, lighting. Isn't that weird? Yeah, it's not coming out. It's, it's my lighting. Oh, there is no light here. Ah, oh, it's not going to work. It's just that kind of day. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? And this is mohair. And you know what? You cannot even tell that... Um, that whole bunch of polymide or tinseling that's wrapped in it. Oh, man. Camera just loves me. Wants to focus on me. This is interesting. Mm, it's a little itchy. No, not real. Yeah, uh, whoops. Shouldn't have done that. This is interesting. Um... I can't really tell you. This says marine, so maybe it's more of a blue. They gave me two of these, so maybe I can figure out something to do. Uh, like I said, I think it's probably a five. I've never... This is nice. It's actually quite nice. It probably is more on the expensive end. Mohair. Um, I just realized... That I don't know where this came, but it appeared. So yeah, that's it for the yarn. Um, there's one or two items on here in in the box, but it does tell me all the stuff that's in here. Okay, nope, I'm wrong. Oh man. <laughs> I'm laughing because I was in Kim's live the other day and I was asking what size needle she was using for the socks and then you know comments go by so she didn't see my comment but thankfully Chris YTGP Chris I can't remember, I don't know what his first letters are in front of his name but then he kind of I don't know if he saw my question and then re-asked it for me or if he was just curious himself but um kim caught that comment during the chat and, and i'm not offended i'm not mad i'm not angry oh she didn't get my dang comment no i'm not but i'm just glad that i found out what her needles were so i did end up getting some knitting needles i don't know if those are the sizes that a beginner needs to use but this one is a Shego Premium Bamboo. They're made from Chinese Mozo Bamboo, one of the strongest and largest bamboos and bamboo species in the world. Needle size is permanently laser marked on the needle and will not wear off. Warm to the touch and provides a smooth yarn feed. Interesting. There's a company name to, uh, I guess, call if you want more. So this is interesting. They're 16 inch, 40 centimeters, size 9, 5.5. Hmm. I guess I'm going to be trying some dishcloths. Because I think I've seen that's what most of the... Now, I believe this is a good brand. So... Maybe this is a 75 thing. So, oh, so they give you the prices of what everything is and then what your box is in total. And then it says, happy yarning, Joanne. And she's the lady that emailed me saying thank you for your purchase and stuff. So, okay, anyways, babale, babalu. I was going to give you a little sucker. It's a Bernat Pom Pom faux fur. Look at that. My cat has a toy. No, I'm kidding. But she'll think it's her toy. Very soft. 
comes from Yarn Inspiration. It's acrylic and polyester. And yeah, I've never had this fancy of a pom-pom that came in a cute little square thing. Look at that. You can feel the pom-pom. So, you know what? Had I known, I should have done all the pricing. So, here we go. I am going to go back. Sorry. This is for all of you who fell asleep and then you woke up and I was still on your uh, TV. <laughs> okay, so, the King Cole. Oh, there's Lisa dinging. That was her ding, if you could hear. Um, this is five bucks. And you know what? It's... I don't want to down the, the company, but it feels like the old Craftsmith. Craft style, Craft Smart from Michaels. But it's still pretty. Now, that was five bucks. These are the Philidar Tresor with Mohair. Times two. 24 bucks. So 12 bucks each. Wow. They're very pretty. So I guess you want a sample of some of, like, that's, I, out of all of it, I got four yarns. And then you saw the knickknacks that I got. This one was $12. No. No, no, sorry. I'm wrong. This apparently cost kaleidoscope. This this actually cost twelve bucks. So this cost twelve bucks. This cost twelve times two, so twenty four. Where did oh it's in my other hand? I'm like, where did the other one go? This Clarence cost seventeen dollars. Whoo! So yeah. <laughs> and this pom pom was six bucks. Big nice fluffy size for six bucks. The shawl pin pin was eight bucks. The sample one is a buck. The needles are about twelve fifty. Well they're not about, that's what they say. The twelve fifty. And I think I got everything. Now the thing that I said cost five dollars is they gave me a five dollar King Cole book. Now this screams Kim Crochet. No, yeah, Kim's Knit and Crochet. I rem I was in uh, Katrina's live earlier and they were uh, showing some knitting tops. I'm assuming these are knitting. I could not tell you until I opened the page and I guess it's just one page. And yep, knit. Knit and purl, knit and purl, knit and purl. That's all I know about the stitches. So yeah, it's called the Lady Slash Neck Tops. Knitted in King Cole Cotton Soft DK. So there you go. So I had a feeling, you know, yeah, this is quite pretty. I guess this is, they're both the same, but just different colors. It's quite pretty. I also know Kim, or not Kim, another K word, Karen from Let's Stitch and Makeup. She also knows how to knit, so I may pass those on. I'm definitely going to keep these, though. I'm going to keep everything, but this, I'm going to see if I can find a knit pattern for 5.5. .5. And see if I can knit, knit me up something. So that's it for this video. Whoa. 
And so they do give you the cost and everything. And the total they said is eighty five fifty is what my grand total came to minus fifty. So I got about thirty five fifty more items. So that is all I have to say and have to show. I blame nobody because nobody forces anybody to do anything. However, that little seed of suggestion is um, what happens. Uh oh. So I'm just going to put everything nicely back in the packaging. And so there we go. Was it worth it? I always like a mystery box, whether they're duds or not. I have to say, this style, I did not expect this to, to happen. She knew my purpleness. She's gotta. She gotta. And now that I look at this, there's some sparklies. Um, they're not just solid sparklies. It's... Anyways... I like the purchase. I, I, I don't mind the stuff that I got. Um, I think it was a bonus that it didn't just get thrown in the box or in a bag. And I can store this stuff and, you know, keep it. You know, keep knickknacks in there. And, yeah, it's a bonus. So that's 50 bucks, Wool Queen. Was it worth it to you or not? I don't know. It did. It, I did get a mixture of everything. That they said I would. I got a pattern, some knitting needles, an accessory, some yarn, and it was about 50 bucks. So, and it came in a cute box. Uh, as you can see, I'm a thing for boxes. I am. <laughs> I used to have when I was younger, or not younger, but little younger, I liked, I would buy all the boxes that you've seen at Dollarama. So, anyways. Thank you, everyone, uh, for letting... Oh, and then, yeah, we can't forget about Sarah. I'm going to try and set that up and start winding. Winding the balls. Okay. See you all around. I'm going to give Daniel, the Paw Ply Yarns channel, a shout-out. Well, I guess maybe I shouldn't because... It will be long gone by then. Maybe I'll post it tonight. Maybe I'll upload it and see if I can get it out tonight. That way, those who watch it,